A warm welcome to Disky Talk with Luyolo. If you're tuning in for the very first time, I do ask that you please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you've been a part of this journey, you'll be thoroughly enjoy this episode. So on today's episode, I discuss all things Mamelodi Sundowns as I have a tactical feature focus on the evolution of Rivaldo Kutsia and Aubrey Mutiba. <laughs> So when you have a look at it then on today's episode and uh, why I've titled it the evolution of Rivaldo Kutsia and Aubrey Mutiwa. So we'll start with Rivaldo Kutsia who is a player then who started out as a centre back then um, in his days uh, within the youth development system at Ajax and uh, he did then progress and um, did then become uh, a defensive midfielder. He was converted then during um, coach Pito Musumane's time at Mamelodi Sundowns and then when you then have a look at it currently Currently, he now then does play as a centre back again, but he is um, a situational centre back. And the reason why I say he's more of a situational centre back is because out of possession, when Mamelodi Sundowns don't have the ball, this would be their shape, would be a 4-4-2 diamond. He would then play as a right-sided centre back when they don't have the ball. But when they do have the ball, then he does step up into midfield, then to form um, a double pivot within the heart of midfield, and then add um, that numerical superiority deep within the heart of midfield for this Mamelodi sundown. So when you have a look at Rivaldo Kutsia then he does play as a libero for this Mamelodi sundown side and uh, when you have a look at his progress and you look at his development his career he now finds himself back in a position where he started however this time around then um, the position he plays for Mamelodi Sundowns is very dynamic especially considering then it is a hybrid role so it isn't just a center back um, but a center back then like I did mention who is situational when they don't have the ball when they do have the ball he does step up into midfield and he creates that and uh, what you would see then from this Mamelodi Sundown side then is that they would create a, a box within the onto midfield sometimes what you do see then is that um, on the side where they do offer width you'll have um, the player offering width like that and then you would see somewhat of um, this left side tilt where they'd have this left side bias and they'd have this overload but the focus then being on Rivaldo Kutsia and what he offers this Mamelodi Sundown side so within first phase then this is a player who offers so much quality within how Mamelodi Sundowns look to orchestrate their build-up schemes a player then who is press resistant very comfortable in the ball and uh, I would say one of the most intelligent footballers then within the DSTV Premier with regards then to how he reads the game, his positioning and his body orientation then within each and every single um, phase of play and within the actions then that he goes through. So a player then who was very key for Mamelodi Sundowns this season and he's been able then to revive his career because we do know that uh, he did struggle with injuries within the past couple of seasons that have kept him out. But now he is then, um, I would say then back at... Um, I wouldn't say at his very best yet because I do think that uh, this is a player then who can still go up a level or two with regards to um, his talent and uh, with regards then to him having a high ceiling. But he to 10 meter um, yard pass but he is well and able with regards to being able then to switch play and um, stretch play for this Mamelodi Sundown side with regards to those diagonals that he plays because he's got very good um, technique in possession of the ball and how then he looks to pass the ball so that is Rivaldo Kutsia then when we move on then right along the next player then is Aubrey Mutiba so we have a look at Aubrey Mutiba then when he also started out then he did start out um, on uh, on the left hand side more as a left winger and 
within midfield and as an attacking midfielder as well. But as he progressed and he went along, he then um, found himself then playing at left back, then at Pamelodi Sundowns. But now when you have a look at it this season, then he has been playing further up. So when you have a look at him then, um, Aubrey Mutiba is then playing as an eight within this Mamlodi Sundown side. And he does play in quite advanced um, pockets of space and quite advanced areas of the pitch. So this isn't a player then who's... Um, because last season, what we saw him do then is that he was playing as an inverted left back. So what he would do then, he would start at left back. So let's just um, go back to that diamond, for example. So what you would see then from Mutiba is that he would start at left back and then he would invert within the heart of midfield to offer an extra layer with regards to how then they look. That is Aubrey Mutiba then with regards to how he's um, progressed and his evolution and how he's developed from this Mamelodi Sundown side. He's become such a key player for this Mamelodi Sundown side and a player then who offers great versatility because then he can also go back to left back should Mamelodi Sundowns uh, decide to tweak things. But with regards to how they play now and having um, Abdul Monaim left-sided defensive player that then does allow Mutiba to go further up also considering that Abdul Munaim can also look to invert deep um, within the heart of midfield where then you also have Rivaldo Kutsia you will also then have Tebo Homokwena that does then allow Obri Mutiba to add numbers going further up so those are two players then who offer great versatility for this Mamelodi Sundown side and um, two players then who I think then are key for this Mamelodi Sundown side with regards to how they're looking to play and how how dynamic they are um, from a tactical and a technical standpoint. Those are two players then who offer this Mamelodi Sundown side and coach Rulani Mukwena a lot. However, at home, do let me know what you make of the evolution of uh, Rivaldo Kotze and Aubrey Mutiba, especially considering then that they did start out as a uh, centre-back um, and, um, and left-wing and uh, attacking midfielder respectively. Now then, they do find themselves back in those positions where they did start out early on within their careers. However, now they do find themselves in those positions where then the demands are a lot more with regards to how dynamic the team is and with regards then to the movement patterns the passing patterns and how then they have to offer a lot more game intelligence with regards then to how then they add value to this current Mamlodi Sundown side at home do let me know then what do you make of these two players and um, how far then do you think um, they will go this season with regards to their individual performances where do you see them then with regards to being able to being consistent and um, do you think then that a player like uh, Rivaldo Kutsia and a player like Aubrey Mutiba can go on then to ensure that they can then get nominated at the end of the season for those individual awards thank you very much for tuning in to yet another special episode of Disky Talk with Leo signing out